each of you make a substantial contribution to the world's biggest economy and are responsible for not only shaping the New York skyline, but determining how New York is viewed socially, culturally, and on the world stage. Three things that make you successful in real estate. Compassion, number one. Teamwork, number two. And lastly, a great platform. It takes drive, vision, and uh, organizational capabilities. Definitely super good looking. One, tenacity, two, adaptability, and three, luck. Persistence, audacity, creativity. Hard work, intelligence, uh, humanity, tenacity, creativity. What it takes to survive in New York and make it to the Power 100 is persistence, resilience, and a little more persistence. First of all, persistence. Being an influencer, being a leader, making changes, and sticking with something. If you're a woman in real estate, then you need each of those in double measure. Not just being engaged with your property, but, but being engaged with the market. Heavy into research, client first, and just always driven. You need to be an extremely thoughtful person and really think about the people that you're trying to do business with. You are all at the forefront of changing New York and impacting the daily lives of present and future New Yorkers. Real estate is the great epic saga of New York. Influence and the power to actually get something done. And this matters no more than right here in New York City. I look forward to this event every year. How many opportunities do you have to spend in one room time with people that are making things happen in this city on every level and not just real estate? Got to be here. Commercial Observer's annual Power Gala really is the celebration of the most dominant and powerful people in commercial real estate here in New York. It's a great event and good to just catch up with everybody in the industry. It's an amazing group of people. There's uh, more than a trillion dollars worth of value, of real estate value in, in this room. To be included on a list with people like Rick Clark, uh, John Mechanic, Bruce Mosler, Mark Holliday, um, Andrew Mathias, I feel very fortunate. I'm happy to see that there are a couple women in the audience, hopefully next year more. The people that Commercial Observer brings out for the Power Gala are second to none. These guys truly make up the who's who of New York real estate. I want to meet the new guys on the Power 100 list. The I saw that Google made the top three. It'd be fun to meet Google. I'd met Jeff Sutton, but I'd like to meet him again and talk to him again. I took a elevator ride up with Larry Silverstein. He is a phenom in real estate. Larry, who just opened up another building at World Trade, doing amazing things. Uh, Rick Clark, John Mechanic, a lot of people from different industries that are just making a difference here. Thank you.